Miss Orange. Oh, hi, Berry Can Bloom. Thank you so much for getting me this pogo stick. Very thoughtful of you. <gasps> Look what I can do now. Oh, it helps when you're busy. But do you ever get busy? Oh, no, it's fun. And I love the built-in hopometer. Janie Bug, did a package come into the post office back there for Berry Can Bloom? It's definitely one of these. Oh, watch out! Oh! Oh. oh, here it is. Well, do you think it's the vacation brochure you've been waiting for? Uh, well, you see. You must be so excited. Finally going on a vacation. Well, actually, uh, I'm not going. You aren't? Well, I decided it was more important to buy these special berry seeds. So I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait, don't you want to see the new issue of Berry Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll, uh... Take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. Well, no, I mean, look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams. That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom, a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. It's a very good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry Can Bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses. Bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <gasps> My goodness, how catchy are these, um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things. Things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, in 
anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See, see you, Bosley. Bosley. Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert. And that Judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay. But, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. <gasps> I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, Think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Oh. Uh, Merba Ernal Jude Slipper? Oh. What? Uh, the record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. <laughs> Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they. Top the to get could they only if. Oh, that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on. We may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. <sighs> Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. Times many mountain, the climb to try they. Treasure the find, could they top the to get, could they only if. <laughs> oh dear. What? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. Uh... <laughs> oh, bitter berries. Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, worried about? Well, uh, she. Uh, 
I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon, don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? Mm, no. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, uh, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did! Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night-blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can-do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can-do spirit. Stacking can-do spirit, that is. Ha, ha, ha. That's good, because... The person in charge should have can-do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Barry Kin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> Wait, Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in very many world. Yeah, and after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest, highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest, highest hairdo. Oh, boy, that's terrific. Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it. What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry. I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and uh, backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and this orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take charge! Today's the day! You ready? Wow! You look like the world's biggest souffle! Is that good? No. That's great! Orange. Oh, hi, Buzzly Bookworm. Are you off and running? Uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it then. See you later. A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? 
Oh. Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak the more he saw, the less he spoke! <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh. I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrykin. No telling how far this is going to spread. Oh, tragic. Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. The judge is around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss Barang, are you in there? Oh, oh, I'll be right there! <gasps> huh? Oh no, wait! I'm sure I can get it as poofy as it was! Uh, poofier even! Miss Barang, she has other girls she needs to see! You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now. It's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh! Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry's doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh! to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and uh. tell me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a Berry Bitty World Record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? Is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Berry Kin Bloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. Uh, what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? 
Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my tower of fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Berrican Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry Souffle! Check. Oh, volleyball net. Oh, better get on that one. Thank you, Barrick and Bill. Everyone has done such a great job helping us open the resort on time. <laughs> we'll make sure you and the Barrickins get to vacation here, too. How about guests? Hmm, good point. I wonder what's keeping the girls. <laughs> Never heard of anyone being late for their own vacation. <laughs> Patty Persimmon in the Case of the Beach Burglar, Part 1. Great! Now, Part 2. Hmm, let's see here, Patty Persimmon. Ah, there it is! Part three. Part three. I can't just take the first two parts on vacation if I can't find out how it ends. <gasps> Aha! Part three! Too much wine? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thanks, Blueberry. Let me guess. Couldn't fit your fins in your bag? <laughs> you guessed it. I thought I'd take a little something to read on vacation. <laughs> Hey, Raspberry? <laughs> yeah, I just <clears throat> can't get this thing closed. Wow! <sighs> psst, psst. Oh, over here. Uh, hello? Did somebody say something? Huh? <gasps> it's me, Plum. I think one of my fins is stuck. You're wearing fins too? <laughs> my mermaid outfit. Just wanted to do some water ballet. I didn't have room to pack it. <laughs> How'd you know? Lucky guess. Uh, what's, um... That's Raspberry. Oh. Morning, Raspberry. Morning, Plum. <sighs> <sighs> is everything gonna go wrong this morning? <laughs> I'm afraid this is not a good omen for the start of our vacation. There you are, girls. Cherry and I have been waiting at the resort. Let us help you with your, uh, pegs? <laughs> wow! Where's Lemon? Oh, she's coming. Something about a problem with her sunscreen. Oh, oh, see what I mean? What if the rest of our vacation is like today? <gasps> oh, no, no, I'm sure our vacation will be trouble-free and relaxing. I mean, <laughs> after a morning like I've had, what else could go wrong? <gasps> Hello, you lucky people. Mavis Maraschino. Aren't you lucky girls? Here I am. Poor Twinkles. Did you miss me? Thank the stars I caught you before you left. Is it luck or written in the stars? Cherry Jam, do I have a surprise for you? I am doing a new show, Lifestyles of the Very Big Bitty Stars. And guess who I am doing my first episode on? You. Who? 
You! How Ultra Pop Superstar Cherry Jam spends a vacation at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Oh, this is going to be fabulous publicity for you, kitten. Really gave your career a boost. Um... Bertram! Let's roll! You got it, Mavis. And we're rolling. Excuse me, but I... Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Berry Big Bitty Stars. We all know there's no bigger Berry Big Bitty Star than Cherry Jam, who's my exclusive guest on today's show. I know you've all been asking yourselves, where does Cherry Jam vacation? How does a Cherry Jam vacation? Well, it's your lucky day because Mavis knows the answer. Cherry Jam is about to take her vacation at super exclusive, reclusive, elite, very breezy Bay Resort. But I'm not. Not what? Not spending my vacation at Berry Breezy Bay. Cut! Cut, 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 cut. Oh. Galloping galaxies. Please tell Mavis why. Berry Breezy Bay closed early. Bad weather. Treacherous troposphere. Bad weather. Oh, bad way to start a premiere show. Oh, how can I tell my audience that Cherry Jam vacations? Nowhere. Not at all. Oh, uh, well, she's going on a vacation at our very own homemade resort. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just down the... The, um... Oh, well, I, I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured out what's wrong with this thing. <laughs> oh, fixed it. Homemade resort? Oh, sounds rather dismal. Dismal? It means not cheerful. <gasps> Our resort is very cheerful. It's the very best resort ever. Come on, we'll show you. Uh, Pom, maybe we better... With some fancy editing and a very distracting musical theme, we just might pull this off. We do not shrink when faced with a production challenge. We rise to... <laughs> oh. Bertram, stop talking to that mermaid and roll camera. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's me, Mavis Maraschino, bringing you a lifestyles of the very big bitty stars. I know you've been waiting all summer to find out where mega pop star Cherry Jam vacations. And now, thanks to me, you're going to find out. I am standing on the beach at the exclusive, reclusive, ultra-luxurious, very breezy bay resort. Um, Mavis? Here's our superstar now. Excuse me, Mavis. You called this the exclusive reclusive Berry Breezy Bay Resort? It's really the happy, home-built, Berry Bitty City Resort. Cut! We were in the middle of a take, dear. Well, it's just that... Uh, this isn't Berry Breezy Bay Resort. It's Berry Bitty City Resort. Ba, bear, ba, breeze, oh, berry, berry, breezy, baboon. I mean, it doesn't make a bit of difference. Don't you see, my luminous lovelies? We must do the best with what we have. My viewers demand glamour, and they shall have glamour, and glitter, and gobs of both. Now, let's get a beauty shot of me under the palms. I don't know, Cherry. <laughs> Breezy Bay may be closed due to weather, but Berry Bitty Bay is closed due to Mavis. <sighs> There's always next summer to enjoy vacation. Wait a minute, girls. Don't give up on our vacation. This is my fault. She came looking for me. I'll fix it. Just go on with our vacation and, and I'll, I'll think of something. Oh, Cherry, where's my little superstar? Quick, under here. <laughs> Jerry, what are you doing here? 
Has anyone seen cherry jam? Uh, I have no idea. Have you seen cherry? <laughs> Can't imagine. Hmm. Oh, cherry! Cherry! <sighs> Thanks, girls. Hmm. This gives me an idea. There's no reason for Mavis to shoot a pop star. If there's no pop star to shoot now, is there? <laughs> no, there isn't. Shrink from a challenge. <sighs> we rise to it. Radio, camera ready. I'm going to find that cheery, cherry mega star if I have to stay here all week. Oh, it didn't work. And we're rolling. Hello, you lucky people. It's Mavis Maraschino, and this is Lifestyles of the Very Big. Stars, where today the question is, where in the world is Cherry Jam? This reclusive superstar seems even more reclusive than ever, but never fear, Mavis knows she's near. You girls can't enjoy a relaxing vacation if you're busy hiding me the whole time. Why don't I just let her do the interview, and I'm sure she'll leave. Are you sure? How bad can it be? I'm coming out of hiding. Hi, Mavis. Here I am, ready for camera. <gasps> ready for camera? God! Cut, 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 cut. Astounding asteroids. They make you cook your own food. I mean, what kind of a resort is this very breezy bay? Um, but it's not. Very breezy bay. Cherry, looks like you need a lesson in superstarring. Mavis knows. Come, come, Twinkles. <gasps> Time for a sweep, star shine. The water's fine. <laughs> huh? What? That wasn't nice, Mavis. Yeah! Ooh, I'm so sorry, dear. I'll make it up to you. I'll make you the star of my next episode. There you are, Moonglow. Now lie back. Relax. <gasps> well, don't just lie there like a fallen meteor. Please, fetch Cherry a refreshing beverage. Huh? I'm sorry, Mavis. I can't do this. I can't have my friends... You're right. Only I, me that is Mavis, can show you how a glamorous vacation is vacationed. Where do I check in? Our... First guest! <laughs> Isn't it, uh... Well, there are no words to describe. <sighs> now this is how a superstar vacations. <gasps> That's her eighth lemonade. And she keeps asking for fresh towels. Well... Just think, she'll give our resort a great review, and we'll probably have lots of guests next summer. That would be great, except she keeps calling our resort by the wrong name. Girls, I think it's time that I just, well, politely ask her to leave. Ask her to leave? But, oh, Bitterberries, we've never asked anyone to leave Berry Bitty City before. It seems so unfriendly. Well, she's unfriendly. That doesn't mean we have to be. But we were supposed to be the first guests, not her. <sighs> if only we hadn't made her so comfortable. Now she'll never leave. Comfortable? <laughs> oh, did I ever get an idea. This one's gonna work for sure. And we're rolling. Mavis Maraschino here on a beautiful moonlit night at Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Psst, they're almost ready. Great. 
Okay, everybody. You all remember what to do? <laughs> crab control to lizard leader. Crab control to lizard leader. The crabs are ready. Lizard leader to crab control. The lizard is ready. Operation Make Mavis Comfortable is a go. Here goes. <laughs> Cherry Jam. <gasps> Run for your life! It's the attack of the pinching crabs! <laughs> <laughs> Good job, everybody. <laughs> Love you too, Fred. <laughs> It. Oh, we have them all the time. Oh, yeah, along with that four-headed lizard monster and those pinching crabs. Oh! So, you won't hurt our feelings if you want to leave. I mean, that's just too much danger for anyone. We'll understand. <laughs> this is incredible! I had no idea how exciting it is here. The thrill of going mano a Mavis with nature herself. This place has brought me alive. Oh, don't hate me, Cherry Starshine, but I'm finished with celebrity reporting. Fluff and silliness. My new show will be an extreme adventure series starring moi. I'll call it Mavis. One maraschino against nature. With all its hazards, this resort is the perfect location. I'll be stationed here permanently. Aww. <sighs> a backpack lunch of fruit salad and chocolate souffle, heavy on the chocolate. Says she's going on an adventure trek through the jungle where she's going to explore new ground. Oh. Our vacation is doomed. Hmm, new ground. New ground. Strawberry, do you still have that first draft of your essay? The one you wrote to win us the vacation to Berry Breezy Bay? Yeah, but... Why? I think I'm getting an idea. Blueberry, I'll need your publishing skills. Cherry dear, don't wish me safe travels because I'm off to shoot my first show in your thrilling jungle. I'll be back in time for dinner if I survive. That sounds thrilling. Almost as thrilling as the latest issue of Beyond Very Big Adventure magazine. Almost. Let me see that. Special report from traveler Maxine Maximum about her adventures on the outrageously exotic, terribly thrilling, terrifically tantalizing perilous Passage Island? Oh, hazardous hurricanes. Nobody scoops Mavis Maraschino. Bertram! Yes, Mavis? Book us the first flight to Perilous Passage Island. Goodbye! I wanted her to go, but now I feel like I played a trick on her. We did play a trick on her. I guess we never believed it would really work. Now I feel bad. We have to tell her the truth. Um, Mavis? There's something we want to tell you. That story about Perilous Passage Island? There's no such place. Aw, oh, Twinkles. Are you trying to protect Mavis from harm? Well, I am fearless. I will take whatever comes my way to get a great story. No, really. You see, we just wanted to spend our vacation... vacationing together, not working on a TV show. And I should have been up front and told you that from the start. So, the truth is, there is no perilous passage island. 
perilous pith helmets. That doesn't matter to me. If there isn't an island like that, there soon will be, and Mavis Maraschino will discover it. Or someplace even more harrowing. <laughs> Farewell, Twinkles. I am off to explore uncharted lands. Papaya. <laughs> 